All right, man. So you yourself, you built a pretty successful business. Um, it's doing great right now. Uh, what are some of the top marketing lessons you've learned in your journey to do so? Best marketing lessons. Um, there's a lot, honestly. Uh, but the best marketing lessons. Uh, I'd say one of them, the the one that actually got me, you know, on the path of marketing was listening to the customer's needs. Hmm. So, uh, I was a producer before making beats, uh, producing songs, but people, I, I was making an email list. Okay. Um, and people would ask me on the email list if I marketed, like, did I promote, um, because I think at that time, maybe I had started writing a couple articles or whatever, and I was trying to explore SEO and all that other stuff. But um, to give like an overarching theme, because I could get like into all these specific platforms, but it's, uh, you know, listening to the marketplace, like what's needed out there. Okay. Like how can I serve? Or uh, if there's a problem that people have that's kind of being solved, can I solve it better? Hmm. So that's like the overarching marketing lesson uh, is that if everybody's doing it a certain way and it's okay, mm -hmm. like how can I make this better? Side note, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I want to also add to that, it, as, as wise as that is, I think it's harder sometimes for people to follow that advice because many of us grew up in this Disney fairy tale, hey, follow your dreams, follow your passion, and do what you feel most passionate about, and stuff will come together. When I think you have to, yeah, you know, make sure you incorporate your passion, but also kind of look at the market and see where can you fill in a need, where's the void that you will be able to best position yourself to, to fill in and add value. And I, I'm, I'm glad that you said that because you know, a lot of people just focus on the passion. They just focus on, hey, what do I want to do? And not what's the what's the customer's need? What's the value that I can bring? So, yeah. Yeah. So that would be, I'll take one example and I'll get back to, you know, what else I did. So it would be like um, one common complaint artists have is how much time it takes for them to receive their royalties from Spotify or mm. Apple Music or something. It takes like a few months, right? From the time somebody plays hits play on a song, Till the time that that it actually hits your bank account, mm -hmm. that's like two three months, yeah. right? It's a long time. Yeah. So if you notice that you have this problem and a bunch of other artists have this problem, how can you make that faster, right? So yeah. that's you thinking of I am an artist, right? I'm a creative person and all that other stuff, uh, but I also have this problem. Yeah. So I know I have this problem. A bunch of people have this problem. How can I solve this problem? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's thinking along the lines of both a creative and a business person and a marketer yes. and how can I solve this problem for other people? Mm -hmm. That's what you're paid to do. Yeah. Even if you're an artist, that's the problem you're paid to solve. Yes. Somebody's saying that I need new music to listen to or um, you know, the all this all this music that I listen to all sounds a certain way and uh, maybe I just need something new, yeah. right? Maybe I need another genre. Mm -hmm. Like that's the problem that you're solving. So you're thinking as a problem solver and people are paying you to solve their problem. Yeah, That's your mindset shift. So that's an important marketing lesson uh, in that you, it's, it's coming outside yourself, Yes, right? Mm -hmm. So it's looking at how you can serve others. Mm -hmm. So that's another marketing lesson. How can you serve them? Yeah. Uh, how can they serve you? That's good. Um, Another lesson would be uh, just studying, honestly. I know that sounds vague, but it's if I, if, if you hear somebody mention something about YouTube SEO, um, how I, I'm thinking, how can I study that more than everybody else? How can I get better at that than everybody else? That's right. Uh, and if I know that I can't get, or just maybe my time is limited, or I really struggle with a, a subject, then I'm thinking, who do I know that can solve that better than everybody else? Okay. So either you have the time to learn that or you need to know enough about it that you can find somebody who does know more. Yeah, man. So if mm -hmm. you don't know what you don't know, yeah. then that's a dangerous place. Yeah. But if you know just a little bit about it mm -hmm. um, and you know that you 
need somebody who knows more, mm-hmm. then you know you, you're setting yourself up for a success that way. Yeah. Um, the other, let's see, another top marketing lesson: uh, if it if it takes time to do, then that's usually something that I want to go after. What I mean by that is uh, SEO, for instance, takes time mm-hmm. to to complete. So I know that a lot of other music websites, um, it just doesn't have as much competition in yeah. the music space because a lot of people don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so another marketing lesson would be be it's being a contrarian. Yeah. So thinking, seeing how everybody else is thinking, and then finding a way that you can either make it better or just different. Yeah. So that it's appealing to people. Yeah. Because a lot, of, what people do a lot of times is they, um, let's say you want to start a business, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but you're having a hard time thinking of an idea. What you can do a lot of times is just find a business that's up for sale mm-hmm. for really cheap. And maybe they did have a good product, but they were bad marketers, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you're seeing a good product and you're just thinking about it differently. Yeah. So you're just being a contrarian. Yeah. Um, and that that's a good life skill, honestly. Yeah. So if you sure. can just see what somebody's trying to push to you mm-hmm. and you're able to just spot out where that doesn't make sense, yeah. um, then that carries with you in all areas of your life yeah so it's not just being you know skeptical of everything it's just um contrarian is the better word than skeptical yeah um another i'm trying to think of any other marketing lessons man top music marketing lessons Mm -hmm. um i'm trying to think of each platform the first thing i did was the email lists Mm -hmm. uh then the seo so I already talked about you have uh, Facebook. I'd say the lesson for the Facebook and Instagram was definitely the contrarian thing. It's kind of like, what is everybody else doing? Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody was just trying to like sell yep. people like, oh, just go. I have so many playlist followers and all this stuff. Just just buy because I have these playlist followers. Uh, was What we did was more so like teaching. Yeah. It was more so um, teaching things that other people might not teach yeah. in a way that other people might not teach them. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where their contrarian thing comes in, okay. like the Facebook and Instagram ads. Um, and then, I'd say the last thing we did as of recent is just being everywhere. Mm-hmm. So if I notice that people, if everybody, and this still goes back to contrarian, is everybody is doing Facebook and Instagram ads, uh, which is great, and those are profitable, so obviously still do that. But there's other areas mm-hmm. that are being untouched by this market. Yeah. So if a lot of music marketers or marketers in general aren't using um, Microsoft ads as much, or mm-hmm. TikTok ads, or um, you know wherever else musicians are, then let's go explore those ad platforms. Yeah. Because they're less crowded, even if not as many people might be on them. Uh, you have less competition there. Yeah. So those are just a few lessons I can think of that would be like more macro yeah. than micro. Like getting into the nitty gritty details. Um, what can what concepts can I take across different platforms yeah. that are still going to apply? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's real good.